Dan Ryan, BCU Athletics here talking with new coach Raymond Woody Jr. Coach, you know, I got to do this to you. And hey. you're like this. The intensive care unit. Oh, yeah. The intensive care unit. I tell you, it's, uh, that was something that, I mean, it was players led, you know? I mean, we, we had one of the top defenses in the conference that year. You've always been, it's always been a strong defensive program here. I mean, are we going to see the, you know, that hard nosed defensive effort that, you know, BCU's known for and has produced it in, in, in the NFL talent? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, again, you know, like I said, philosophy and all aspects is being smart, but we're going to be fast, physical, and aggressive. I saw you play here. We had 30 years later, you're the head coach. Where did 30 years go? I tell you, it went, went by quick, didn't it? Mm -hmm. What do you, I mean, what's been the, the joys of the journey for you these past 30 years? Well, you know, just being able to, um, you know, the coach, obviously have an opportunity to, you know, play in the CFL, then come back home and volunteer my uh, high school, Pelham High School in 1997, and then getting an the opportunity to be a head football coach, being the youngest high school coach in the mm -hmm. state of Florida, and then doing that several years, and then being able to travel with Coach Willie Taggart at different stops, you know, just building programs. And I say, you know, it's, it's just a blessing to help and build programs on the FBS level now to come back to my alma mater and be the leader, man. It's just exciting. What does this place mean to you? How special is it? It means a lot. I mean, like I, I, like I tell people, BCU, you know, that's me. It made me, you know, it made me do and learn how to do a lot with less, you know. So when people start talking about what we don't have, if you've been through what we didn't have and then still stand and, and look at some of the guys that I played with, they doing really well for themselves. And we didn't have a whole lot. So, you know, just being able to do a lot with little. And finally, I, and I have to do this since we have a rat in the room. You beat FAMU in 1994. What's it going to be like in the next couple of years when you become only the second coach in BCU history to beat, BC, to beat FAMU as a player and a coach? Well, you know, we're going to take one day at a time, you know, and, and at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're not looking past the first game on the schedule, and that's the most important game. But, you know, that, that rivalry means a lot. We're going to beat them. <laughs>